Hello everyone, what is going on? It is Brad Jujun here with some more Space Engineers and today will be a very quick video because my GPU is currently failing on me. It's been doing this for about a week or two now where after a long period of time playing a game, whether it be half an hour to an hour, it'll start dropping out. So I'm going to try doing this very quickly because it did drop out just in my last session because I was playing this for a while and building. So anyways, let's jump right to it. This is the basically the complete version of the map. I've got the two ships currently separated. I've left the back empty just so I can show you how thick the walls will be around the core just because people feared that you might be able to just shoot your way to the core and this is basically going to say that no you can't do that. So the inside of the hangar is the same as what it was before. You have an entrance on the front, entrance on the side. There is now lights all over the place. You have the gravity lift that takes you upstairs still though it as you guys can see it doesn't like to work properly. I'm yet to add the turrets so that was something I was meant to add but I haven't exactly put them on there. So let's jump quickly downstairs. I'm sorry for rushing this, I really don't mean to do it, it's just I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with my GPU and it's just not working with me. I do have a new ship but I'll show you that once I'm done showing you guys the back here. So there's currently two entrances to get to the core and no ships can fit through here and there's also a wall to block you from getting in here with the ship. There's also more walls as well. So this will be a kind of like a standoff location where the defenders will have the advantage clearly over the people who are attacking. Then they had to flood through these three uh, entrances mainly, uh, but what, if, if they do manage to do that, that's a, they will be uh, quite effective because they can come up here and use this as their advantage to then overpower the defenders. I don't think there's gravity here just yet, so I'm going to be flying around for the most part. So once you come down here, it's uh, yet again throttled. But you will see that the core is here. So the core is, if I fly right down, the core is right there. So we once you blow that up, I did put a reactor right above it because I want that to be the only reactor in the ship. So once the core is blown up, all the power turns off. And that's how I want this to be. So as to how thick the walls will be around the core, about that thick. I told you guys I was going to make the walls thick around it. <laughs> so the easiest way would probably be the top and the bottom, but you'd have to go through about five heavy armor blocks thick and that will take you quite a while in a ship e even the bottom is still going to be about five blocks thick going on the sides i wouldn't even recommend i wouldn't even try so you guys will have a difficult time trying to get to the core that is a that is a pretty self-explanatory i haven't edited the second ship yet like i said i just copied and pasted it over then my gpu started cutting out of me now to show you this final ship here, so you've seen the main ship, which is, this is basically the attack ship, it's small, it's fast, it's got rocket launchers and a chain gun, and it's pretty all around decent. This ship over here, which is currently four of, is a transport ship. Now this doesn't have any weapons, but what it does have is it has four extra seats for other people to sit in. So you can sit in here and you can take a ride over to the enemy base because these ships are valuable for each team because once all your ships gone you lose if you have your core destroyed you lose so basically the ships are tickets so these ships here are extremely valuable because not only do they cost one ticket but you can transport four people in one instead of one one with those small ships so these ships are quite fast as well to be honest if I get inside one, you guys can see that it's got a really, really quick acceleration. And having four seats on the side of it makes it uh, even better. The only problem is you'll have to let the driver get into it first. Because if any passengers get into it, the passenger assumes control of the engines. As you guys can see, I'm still controlling it from, from the seat on the side. So it's very awkward to fly uh, like this because it doesn't control like you'd expect it. But that's basically the new addition of the ship. I do like this ship. I don't know why I like it. It's such a weird looking ship, but it's it's, it's adorable in its own way, and it can carry uh, four people across, well five if you if you include the pilot. So you can just imagine this ship flying over here and infiltrating the uh, enemy base and just kind of landing down. Does it? It does have thrusters on the front. I don't know why that wasn't. Does it? It does. It just wasn't slowing me down in time. Though, amazingly, I didn't get damaged. I haven't actually had the chance to completely paint this ship because that's when the GPU was failing on me. So, I'm going to leave this... Uh, I'm going to leave that till my computer actually calms down a bit. So, yeah, these ships are fast, but they don't have any weapons, and they can easily 
easily be shot down. And I'll actually sh I'll show you that right now. Actually, I'll put that one out there, and I'll get one of the attack ships, and I'll show you me destroying it before ending the video. So, like I said, I don't want to take too long because I'm afraid it'll just start dying on me, and I have to do this all over again. So, you got the ship there, a chain gun. I think one, yeah, a few shots can easily get rid of the. Uh, one of the cockpits, a few shots to the back can damage and destroy the engines, and a rocket shot, which you, you wouldn't even really need to think about, uh, would quite easily destroy most of the vessel. So, yeah, one a one hit to those things is is pretty much it is a gone. A one hit to uh, either ship is it, it's gone, but these ships are more valuable, like I said, because. You can transport up to five people in one ticket as opposed to one person in these. But these can be used, like I said, for defending the transport ships and for, and for defending the ship here as well. And also having the turrets on top would be helpful. So let me guys, uh, let me know what you guys think of this map now that, that it's actually complete. What do you think of the small, adorable transport ship? I don't know where it's called for, so there it is. So anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And thank you guys for all the support you left on the last video about my friend who's missing on the plane. Oh, the plane in Malaysia. Yeah, some of you guys said some really kind things and that actually meant a lot to me and I really do hope that they're safe. So yeah, thanks for that. And I'll leave this here, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.